Hello, friend Mormo here. Today I'm delivering an art card. I got another art card sale last night. So, so far I've made three artist trading cards and uh, I've sold two of them. I still have one available for sale. But I had to get up bright and early today because the post office closes at 1. So I wanted to get up and get this in the mail before the post office closed. And I stopped at Spirit Shop and got a Starbucks Triple Shot Energy. Extra Strength. Um, energy Coffee Beverage. Cafe Mocha, you can see and uh, I'll open it on camera here but I decided to just stop and get an energy drink and it's delicious and I'm so grateful to sell my artist trading cards it's my new business and I'm really excited about it I love making the art cards and selling them and packaging them and delivering them. Eventually I'd like to move into being an art card dealer where I'm like buying other people's art cards and selling them. And uh, I think that would be really fun. And I'm gonna use the money to buy um, Uh, press releases so I can get some press for my new business and I think that will really help spread the word of my new business and uh, I mean it's either going to be promoting my videos or promoting my art cards I haven't really decided yet which way I'm gonna go but one or the other, I'm going to use the profits from the art cards to uh, pay for a press release. And uh, I think that's really going to help my business. And uh, keep watching, I'm going to the post office next. So keep watching. Okay, friends, so here I am at the post office in downtown Hollister. I got my letter. I had to go to the post office because this letter's going to Canada. And I do um, international shipping if somebody lives in a different country. Um, I can totally ship a trading card to you. And I'm going to go inside now and send this letter. Okay, friends, so the Hollister Post Office closed at 10.30 a.m. I must have read the website wrong or something, but it said online that the Branson Post Office is open till one today. So I'm gonna try and deliver this letter at the Branson Post Office and uh, keep watching. Okay, friends, so I got that letter mailed to Canada. It costed me $1.40 to buy the stamp, but that's fine. And it's all taken care of now. My second artist trading card sale is complete. And uh, I figured while I'm in downtown Branson, I might as well walk and get some exercise and go see my friend Yak. So let's go see Yak right now. Okay, folks, here I am at Yak's Magic Shop. Yak's going to do a magic trick for us. So you have a, uh, a blue handkerchief here for you, like so. And then you shove them into the empty hand, just like this. Give him a nice little squeeze. Nice, that's amazing. Yeah, you just, the best thing is you can bring him back. You reach there, I grab it, you reach right back in, and you can pull it right back out again. And voila. That's incredible. Thanks, Yak. Yeah. Thanks, Shane. Appreciate it.
It's magic 124 South Visit Branson. <laughs> Okay, friends, so that was a great visit with my friend Yak, and I picked up something awesome at his shop, something I've been meaning to get for a while now, and you'll see it soon. I bought it for my videos, but then also, on the way home, I stopped at Dollar General, and I got some beef jerky, and I got some... Um, watermelon lemonade from Snapple and I'll try that here in a second and I also got some um, thank you cards with envelopes and these are for sending my um, for sending my artist trading cards in the mail the first one I mailed off I just dropped into an envelope and then I realized later that it might get bent in the mail or something and that it would be a lot better to put it inside of a card so I got these six thank you cards and uh, they were only a dollar a piece which seemed like a really good deal and uh, let me check the receipt yep they were just a dollar a piece so I don't know what six divided by a dollar is it would probably be like let's see it would probably be like oh wow I don't know I can't do the math right now but it's a pretty cheap cost for my uh, for my artist trading cards to make sure they show up in good condition I might have to raise the price on my artist trading cards I'm not sure yet um, it, it's a brand new business to me this is only my fourth day of doing it and I've already sold two cards and uh, I'll just keep getting better the art will get better and the whole business will just keep getting better mmm wow that's good watermelon lemonade very good thirty four grams of sugar that's not terrible but anyways yeah it'll keep getting better my artist trading card business and I already got somebody who challenged me and who wants to collaborate with me and uh, so hopefully I'll be doing some trading or maybe some buying from them but it's really important they got to be 2.5 inches by 3.5 inches they got to be that trading card size in order to um, be legit and for me to sell and stuff. So I got to iron out those details with um, this partner of mine first before I do any buying and reselling and stuff. The artist trading card's got to be that certain dimension in order to be legit, so... But anyways, I'm going to head home now, and um, I had a great day. Um, got my artist trading card in the mail, had an energy coffee drink, had a watermelon lemonade, stopped by the magic shop, and picked up an awesome item you're going to see in the future and uh it was a great day and thanks for watching and uh thanks so much